punched, and that individual is going to take four of them. Okay, so um, I'm going to have this taken a point, you have taken a, a health point. You are going to attack as well, correct? Yeah, let's do it. Sorry yeah. for all that. Time. So uh, I have a, a mace. Är det den mest spetsad på? Alltså ah, med spiklor. Ja, ja, ja. ah, precis. Spiklor med mace. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, typical combat. Mm-hmm. Um, against good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, so, yeah, and they're tough. Yeah. So what did we get? A nine. Yeah. And we made it. Yeah. Actually. Mm-hmm. So, all right. And so is that the same one that he punched or the other one? The other one. All right, so you guys are, are laying into these guys, yeah. right? Um, and so you these are with good minds, okay, and you have a, a four mind. So I'm, yeah. Okay. okay. So I, I just talk and then I'm going past them. Okay, first though, they are going to attack. Um, and so the, uh, the the attack that I described is, is what they're using. Each of them gets their attack because they go before you do. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you are going to defend. Uh, this is going to be uh, combat, good mm-hmm. against yeah. your combat. Yeah. So what's your combat? Typical. Okay, so typical against good, you have to roll eight or higher. Mm-hmm. Ah, and you will take a health point. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. So you have been grabbed and butted. There's mayhem going on. Um, and then the same thing for you. What is your combat? Mm-hmm. Four. Four. Okay, so... Four versus good is nine plus. Oh. <sighs> Aren't you just the lucky yeah. one, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so yes, uh, well the point too is that they switch places. One grabbed you, butted them, then the one who butted you grabbed you, and the other one mm-hmm. tries to butt you, but I think he managed to evade the, the maneuver. Mm-hmm. Um, perhaps had we seen it effectively yeah. used over here. Mm-hmm. Now it's Helmut's turn. Mm-hmm. So I'm basically just walking past them. They are busy. <laughs> right, no. correct, yeah. And, um, but where are you going? I mean, what are you trying to do? Just going past them, see if there's a door or a room or anything where they could have hidden check. Hmm. Okay, well, there's actually a door to the outside that's yeah. been propped open. Outside it, there is a, uh, a, a fancy looking hover car and the driver is leaning against the door, smoking. Great. And looking bored. Can I see into the car? No, of course not. It's all tinted black windows. Oh, so. it's that fancy car. Mm-hmm. He's got a hat. I'm going to try and laugh and say, is it, have you been waiting for me or something in, along those lines? Are okay. trying to open the back door? Are you being mean or are you being... No, mean? I'm not being mean. Okay, so you've got a typical or a good spunk, correct? I have a good spunk. Okay, well this is no big deal actually. Um, this, is, this is just a driver, you've got six plus. Uh-huh. Excellent. And so that means that you are, um, uh, the, the, the driver says, you know, uh, hey, sure, uh, you know, aren't, aren't the boys done in there? No, they, they are still busy. Uh, it's taking forever. Usually I just hear one or two screams and it's all over and I get to go. But standing out here forever, this place is boring. He's being, you've, you've mm-hmm. you know, got a, a, rep, a rapport now with the chauffeur. Um, and so you're trying to get in. Mm-hmm. You're, you're getting, he's talking while he lets you in the car. Okay, you can drop me off where you picked up the guys. Oh, oh, okay. Well, geez, if they're going to take this long, sure. Um... So, you driving along. You got an appointment with Mr. Gandolfino, huh? 
I'm not answering. Or just mumbling. Hmm. Yeah, he left pla the planet. He got uh, he got what he came for. Uh, they're off to they're off on their their journey. Oh, so I'm a little bit late. Is that what you say? Oh shoot! Did you get left behind? That's terrible. Shit happens. You can drop me up off at the space station port, Excellent. and then we'll see. Okay, um, that's a, a fine idea. And the the two of you. So we are locked in combat. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so see if you can if you can let's see this right. Again. And if you want to do something clever or otherwise make this work in some way, mm. um, there's uh, remember that you can use your luck to use an attribute or gear in an unusual way mm -hmm. to add a detail or fact to the scene like put in a detail mm -hmm. in the or the environment that mm -hmm. might make things advantageous for you yeah um you can uh heal a health level mm -hmm. with luck point mm -hmm. don't forget that yeah um and also take an extra action after your action from, yeah okay from, I think the deal with luck is that basically it's only when people start spending it mm. that then it drops and mm. then testing is worth it. Mm. So let's retcon this. There is no point in testing luck until it's already starting to go down. So let's just have you say you spent your luck, right? Mm -hmm. And there was no test. I think we just learned that we don't do that. The system makes sense when people start spending their luck down, then testing starts to make sense. So do you uh, mm -hmm. do you want to do any of those things, or you just want to attack? Um, but I'll try to get past them somehow. So well, they're mm -hmm. they're blocking the exit. Well, except for the fighting part, they mm -hmm. were blocking the exit. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So I I just try to run past them and out the door. Okay, um, you'll you'll have to invent like a detail of their behavior or distraction. Mm -hmm. Because in the, by spending the luck point, and then that will just give you the, the opportunity. Yeah, okay. Um, things that would ordinarily be like a game master's mm -hmm. decision of, oh, that sounds reasonable. No. In this game, that's mm -hmm. what luck's for. Yeah, okay. So I have to make like a distraction. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll. Uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, you, you don't have to have your character do it. You yeah. can have like other characters or some detail of the situation. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, right. yeah, all right. That's what the so, so I, I can say what yes. happens. So right. That's, okay. Yeah, that's all what right. this point okay. is for, yeah. All right, that's okay. Good. So, um, so uh, is there uh, like a light? Uh, so I think, maybe, phrasing, maybe, I think maybe. your phrasing needs to be more assertive, like there is, there a is one. Okay, okay. Right. Uh, so uh, the the lamp in the ceiling falls right down on its head. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. You spend a left point. What with all those concussions, mm -hmm. right? Oh, this is kind of fun. I'll help a little bit. The, the one who missed you, of course, his head went into the wall. Mm. <laughs> right. That works. Out you go. Yeah. Oh, look. There's nothing. Calamity's no. There's Calamity's butt. She's getting into a car. <laughs> and I just sort of. It took you a little while to talk to the guy. Yeah. Right? yeah. That's my True. Thing. Yeah. I'm using a left point as well. Then. Oh, I believe we have his action coming in yeah. before you. So, go ahead. But yeah, I want to get out of there. But I think they are both knocked out now, right? No. More or less. No, the 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 lamp falling did not do damage. Oh. It just created the oh, the, I see. the free action yeah, yeah. getting through. And also, there's a dark now in the hallway. That's true. Yeah. Uh, I want to hide in the darkness. 
okay. You might be a little. You're in the middle of fighting. Yeah. I'm not. That that would actually be to to. You're going to need an. That's kind of incredible. You can roll for it. I will use my grappling hook in the unusual way to tie them all together. And why not? Luck point for the unusual use of the gear. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, that's that's not a roll. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's good. And so we'll give you the action. Um, so you've got a combat of four, four but uh, that will drop it down. Um, given the distraction, I don't think that. Yeah. Okay. So uh, poor against to tie them both up. Yeah. Let's do eight, eight or plus eight, eight or more. And also, you can use luck multiple times if you want to roll three dice instead of two. You can. No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I think uh, I think you're going to end up tied up. <laughs> right. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, and one of the thug will lean over you and say, uh, "What do you want with Mister Gandolfino? What are you? What are you? Uh, how are you? What are you trying to do here?" Mister Gandolfino doesn't like interference. I want to be his bodyguard. I wanted to beat you guys, so to show that I am the main bodyguard, best bodyguard here on this planet. Well, we definitely have to roll for that, but <laughs> we're leaving you out of the sequence. <laughs> so, yep, uh, I'm guessing that the burning chaser set off the fire alarms. Huh? So I'm, I'm walking past the fire door and see it. Uh, Look at all this narration yeah. you're doing. Yeah. Don't you think a yeah. luck point's necessary? Absolutely, for like, because hey, I'm, I'm early. That's right. Yeah. Right. Ah, yeah, that's yeah. what you're getting, the yeah, luck yeah. point. It, I it, even, the yeah. timing was perfect. Yes. Right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, um, oh my god. I forgot these guys are poor. As you might guess, their minds are poor. So therefore, I attempted to make them abysmal, but <laughs> um, let's go ahead with poor. So what's your mind? Uh, good. good. Okay. Good against poor uh, gives us a five or higher. And there you go. Oh, actually, I think that gives you another star. Star for 10? Hey, yes, yeah. he needed a five, so it's seven and nine. But he rolled eight. Oh, you rolled an eight. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, not quite. Although that would have been kind of cool. Yeah. All right. So uh, you can, they they decide, you know, that they'll uh, that they'll they'll take you out to. No, they are going to run into trouble because by then, we're getting the sequence kind of a little. Confused here. I'm trying to keep an idea of how long this would take. You got out there yep. in time. Yep. You got out in time. Mm -hmm. Are either of you going to try to get in the car as well, or to deal with this? Yeah, some way. Yep. So I see the car, and why not try to get in? That's probably what dead. action is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you you settling into the seat with the martini right there, ready to go, nice and cold, are are now suddenly joined by the two of them. Yeah. Um, so how does the driver react? The uh, the driver says, "Oh, friends." Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, they are a little bit rough and tumbly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so yes, they will. They will head off. I think. Um, the uh, there will be a bit of delay for you because the goons will be extremely upset that their car is missing, um, and uh, uh, are 
there will be some delay. Right. So I also I think I'll get those two up to date on the information I got from the driver. Excellent. All right. Uh, the the problem here is that uh, the, the 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 space yacht has has taken off. And uh, as you as you will find, there's no, there's no real roles for this part. The space yacht has taken off. Uh, the the driver is saying, "Oh yeah, the Gandolfino and the boys have been talking all about this trip for for months. They've been preparing, and they have it." So, and, and they said they needed like an extra guy for some reason, and yeah, they finally got him. They finally got him. And lost three girls on this planet. Do you remember where he wanted to go? Because we may catch up with him. Hey, I just drive. I mean, yeah. you can ask at the, the, the space station or... Yeah, that's true, actually. So, um... Meanwhile, the goons, irritated, um, end up uh, pushing an old lady off a motorcycle, and, um, and and piling all of you on there, and uh, and, and 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 they're very upset. They're saying we're we're going to miss the journey. They can't leave us behind. The twelve and the one, Gandolfino, very serious about this. All of us have to go. It's not fair. They're very irritated. They'll wait for us, they say. They'll wait for us. Okay. Give me a moment. I'm sort of spitballing my way through this a bit. I know what's going on, but things have a tendency to get a little kooky in this game, and I'm not quite sure. And I don't want to just railroad it through. You guys have a problem. Let's just settle it. Let's let's do a little bit of generalizing. You guys have a problem. There's a space yacht to tooting along. You've got two disgruntled goons um, who uh, who feel left behind, um, and the three of you. That's who you have. It's two disgruntled goons, mm -hmm. and then the the three of you are probably checking on where this space yacht is going, mm -hmm. and you're going to need. A space yacht or something. We have our own ship here, right? Not really. No, it's not really a luck thing. No. Hold on. I'm asking. I'm pointing at your sheet for the year. Do I see no spaceship? <laughs> um, no, I do not. Oh, that's the way the cookies crumble. But okay. I mean, uh, there's lots of ways you might get on one or steal one. Yeah, or, but, but do we do we even know where they're going? Um, uh, that is something else you can find out. Mm. Um, that you will be carefully explained to that here on this planet we have some regulations and safety and uh, security, and mm. that we don't give out the private information, the private yeah. travels of our clients, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure here, have a little pamphlet about, uh, you know, etiquette on a civilized planet. Mm -hmm. I'm channeling my inner to see. You started it with a cheese You just. <laughs> So uh, that's a little opposition. I'm not saying mm -hmm. you can't get past it. Yeah, yeah, with the yeah. Proper, yeah. you know. Yep. Um, oh, and just then, these goons will come up, and there is a cyborg girl um, whose hand is like this because <laughs> the rope is still around you. Yeah. Um, and the, these goons come up, although they're trying to like walking all together. You know, it, it, it is now they're so disgruntled about this, mm -hmm. and and that they're, okay, they're not even treating you like a prisoner. And they come up and they slap down their hands and they say, "I just realized how easy this is. Obviously, mm -hmm. they're going to the same desk, mm -hmm. and obviously they would slap down their hands and say, 'What is going on here?'" 
uh, we are on that ship and that ship is going to Montana. Space Montana. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, and, and we're supposed to be on it. This is not acceptable. And the other one says, yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course it started, the, it's their hand of the pen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, even worse, they say. Uh, sir, you need to take a ticket from the little, you need to take a little <laughs> ticket from the little kiosk there. There are people waiting. They didn't get allowed. So, uh, are there any other ships leaving for Space Montana? Well, that's off of our ordinary routes, you see. It's through some very dangerous nebulae, and we hear showers and other problematic situations. Most of our routes don't go through there. This was a, a private commissioned flight. Mm -hmm. 